guys, welcome back to the Shaquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here today to give you some, what I think is going to be some really good information to help you decide which long wig by Raquel Welch you want, because I have three here that are quite similar in terms of the style, but also different. So hopefully what I share with you today can help you make up your mind. However, before I do anything, of course, I'm going to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn more things about alternative hair. But of course, before I do, make sure you like this post and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, I've got some fantastic wigs for you today. I have three that we're going to compare. I'm I'm going to, I'll do a pretty deep comparison. I'm not going to do like a full on review, but I'm going to do a pretty deep comparison so we can figure out the differences. So today I have three wigs by Raquel Welch and I have, uh, which one? The scene stealer. I have mesmerized and I have stay the night, their newest long one. So we're going to start, let's start with scene stealer first. Okay. Okay. Scene stealer has always been one of my most beloved wigs. I just love this wig so stinking much. Okay, so Scene Stealer is going to be the least expensive out of these three pieces. And that's because it doesn't have a hand-tied cap or a partially hand-tied cap. It has just um, a machine-made open wefted cap. So whenever we have this open wefted cap, you know, where you can stick your fingers through, it's nice and stretchy, breathable, ventilated. That means it's made with a machine. And of course, when machines make things, they're just a little bit less labor intensive, which means it's gonna be less money. So Scene Stealer has just your standard open wefted cap. We do have velvet ear tabs, just a standard velvet nape. It's not an extended nape. And then we have Velcro adjusters. Um, Scene Stealer is gonna have a full monofilament top and just a temple to temple lace front. So this cap is going to differ a little bit from the other two. And I'll show you the other two in a minute here, of course. All right, let me put Scene Stealer on so we can see her beauty. Oh, so good. Um, I'm wearing this in the color RL12 slash 22SS shaded cappuccino, one of my favorite rooted colors. It's a very lovely in-between brown and blonde color. It's a light sort of ash brown base with some cool heavy blonde highlights throughout and then your root here oh it's just so wonderful okay here is scene stealer so scene stealer just like stay the night and like mesmerized is going to be made with raquel welch's true to life heat friendly fibers so you can use heat on all of the wigs i'm going to show you today something that scene stealer is going to have that the other two are not going to have is a little bit of permatease so up in the crown here if you notice there's a little bit of extra volume here if i turn to the side you can kind of see that little bit of extra volume there's a bit of permatease here so permatease is what wig companies do at the root of the um, fiber to help give it that natural volume and lift there's not like an intense amount of permatease but there's enough in the crown to give it that lift and then there's some throughout the side of your wefting here just to give it a little bit extra volume in terms of density scene stealer is a low to medium density now in terms of length and style scene stealer is going to be the closest probably to mesmerized in terms of how long it is and how the style goes now scene stealer is going to have the front be about 9.75 inches long from the crown it's going to be about 15 inches and then from the nape so that's your piece back here that's going to be about 15 inches as well. For some reason, I always like to judge length by the nape because that's going to be generally your longest piece. So I look at the inches of the nape and I would kind of judge where my nape is and how far down that would go. So scene sealer is going to be 15 inches from the nape. Let me turn around and show you from the back what she looks like. So she is of course quite long, but so are the other ones. So if you're looking for something with length, honestly, you can't really go wrong with any of them because they're all generally 
roughly around the same length, give or take an inch or two. Okay, scene stealer is gonna have, as I mentioned, a lace front. Now, this lace front just goes temple to temple, whereas you'll find on the other two, their lace fronts are a little bit more extended. So I'll show you that in a minute as well. Overall, scene stealer is going to be the one that's going to have the most volume, I would say, and that's partly due to that permatease at the crown and the sides here. Okay, the one that's gonna be the most similar to Scene Stealer, like I mentioned before, is gonna be Mesmerized. So here I have Mesmerized in the color Shaded Iced Java, and this is gonna be a medium to dark brown, and it's gonna have some very subtle, sort of light ash brown highlighting throughout. It's a really beautiful, rich brown color. Okay, so how does Mesmerized differ from Scene Stealer? Let me show you. Mesmerized is gonna be a partially hand-tied cap. So that's what this is here. It's all hand tied, which means all of the fibers are hand sewn by a person <laughs> onto this cap right in this area here. Now this bottom part here is gonna be closed wefting. So this was machine sewn into rows at the bottom. The one thing about these partially hand tied caps by Raquel Welch is that they're not as stretchy. So it's not as stretchy, whereas if I, oh, <laughs> if I show you Scene Stealer, going to be a little bit more stretchy, a little bit more breathable. Now, I didn't mention that scene sealer is going to fit just a little bit bigger than average, I would say, average to just a little bit bigger. And then you're, of course, going to have this stretch if you need it. All right, so here's the difference in their caps. Mesmerized is hand-tied or partially hand-tied with closed wefting at the bottom. Scene sealer is open wefted. In my opinion, I prefer hand-tied caps. They're a little bit more comfortable and they're a little bit lighter. And also the fibers on a hand-tied cap are gonna move in a little bit more of a natural way. That being said, because it is hand-tied, it's gonna be more expensive. So Mesmerized is going to be more expensive than Scene Stealer. Okay, what else do we have in common? We have a full monofilament top on both of these caps. So Mesmerized also has that full monofilament top where you have that parting space um, and it just gives you that illusion of scalp right from your hair or from your head. Now they both have laced fronts. However, as, as I was mentioning earlier, Mesmerized is gonna be extended. See how they extend it down into the ear tab here and it gradually goes a really nice seamless um, transition. Scene Stealer just has temple to temple lace front. It goes right here, it kind of abruptly stops uh, and then goes into the ear tab there. So extended lace front on Mesmerized, temple to temple lace front on Scene Stealer. The extended lace front is gonna give you just a little bit more room to sweep it off your face. And there's just a little bit um, more ease into that transition from lace into the ear tab, which I generally prefer. Sometimes I do find with the temple to temple lace fronts, the transition is really abrupt from the lace into the rest of the cap. However, Raquel Welch does a pretty good job at making their transition from lace into the rest of the cap pretty good for the most part. Okay, let me put Mesmerized on so we can take a closer look at her. I will add that both caps have velvet ear tabs, but Mesmerized has an extended nape at the bottom, whereas Scene Stealers is just your general, your standard nape. Okay, mesmerized. <laughs> it's gonna be a very similar style to um, Scene Stealer, to be honest. Very similar lengths and um, very similar density as well. Okay, here is mesmerized. One thing you will notice with mesmerized is because she is a hand-tied cap, monofilament top, which is hand-tied component. She's pretty much hand-tied almost everywhere except for, of course, those wefting, uh, those wefts in the back. But because she's hand-tied all up here, she won't have any permatease. So any of this volume and lift you see is just due to the style itself. They've just added a little bit of volume at the root from styling it. So if I turn to the side here, you can see this little poop here, but that's not permatease, that's just the style. So what you could do more easily with this one is probably use some heat to tone it down if you don't like that volume there. Um, when there's not any permatease there, it's gonna be easier to style it away. All right, here is the lace front on Mesmerize. So as I mentioned, it's extended. It goes all the way to here. 
Whereas of course, scene sealers just came up to about here. And then we have that monofilament top. Let's you part it wherever you'd like to. Okay, one difference about scene sealer to mesmerize is that mesmerize front is going to be a little bit shorter than scene stealer. So mesmerize is going to have about eight inches of length at the front, whereas scene stealers was nine and a half inches. Um, from the back, we're going to have 16 inches. And then from the nape, actually, the nape is the same as scene stealer. It's going to be 15 inches from the nape. So overall, the length of those two pieces, or these two pieces, mesmerize and scene stealer, are going to be very similar to each other. Okay, let me show you the back. They also have a very similar style. It's just little flips at the end. There's not too much going on. It's not poker straight. Neither of them are. They just have nice little style happening at the ends. Okay, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but um, the densities are pretty similar. The only thing you're gonna notice is the lack of permatease in Mesmerized. Ah, I gotta remember which ones are on my head. All right, one wonderful thing about having a hand-tied cap is that it makes styling a little bit easier. You can pull it back and not have to worry about any of the wefting being exposed because it is hand-tied. It's all one piece of material um, and it's just a little bit easier to style and the hair is just gonna move a little bit more freely. All right, this cap in particular, I'm finding it to fit a little bit bigger than average, to be honest. Um, there's quite a bit of extra bulk. So what I'm grabbing up here is like extra wig cap. I am a petite size, just to let you know, but it does feel quite bulky on me. And then in terms of the circumference, there's, um, look, let me show you. There's quite a bit of room in here. So I'm a petite, this could fit an average to a little bit bigger than average as well. Okay, let's move on to Stay the Night, which is um, one of Raquel Welch's newer pieces this year with one of their newer cap designs as well. So this cap design is going to be um, similar, but different in a way. So let me show you. It's got a partially hand-tied cap, just like Mesmerized. Let me, let me take this one off and we'll just actually look at them. Okay, so we got Stay the Night, we got Mesmerized. Stay the Night is going to be a partially hand-tied cap with some wefting at the bottom here. Now, uh, Mesmerized is going to have more wefting than Stay the Night. Stay the Night just has like five or six rows of wefts. Mesmerized is more, of course. You're going to find that these newer hand-tied caps are going to be a little bit more sheer looking as well, in my opinion. You can kind of tell by um, just in the screen here too. Okay, on Stay the Night, they've added this really nice stretch uh, material at the side of the cap. Um, this is really great to help it form fit to your head just a little bit better. So it's a really lightweight cap. Um, I mean, so is this one, but it's like they made it even lighter, which how is that possible? I don't know. All right, let's look at the ear tabs. So Scene Stealer and Mesmerize both have the velvet ear tabs, whereas Stay the Night has these silicone ear tabs and a silicone strip at the nape, whereas Scene Stealer and Mesmerize just have the velvet strip. So the silicone is gonna help it feel even more secure. I really love the silicone ear tabs. They, it makes me feel like the cap is just like right against my head. It's awesome. Okay, now similar to Mesmerized, Stay the Night has an extended lace front. So it goes to mid ear tab, which is just like Mesmerized. Whereas on Scene Stealer, we mentioned how the lace front just goes to your temples here. So these two caps are gonna be more similar, whereas um, mesmerized style is going to be more similar to scene stealer. So mesmerized is like the bridge. I feel that like <laughs> the bridge is the gap between stay the night and scene stealer. Okay. Now the top of this cap is going to be a little bit different. Ugh. We've been looking at full monofilament tops on both scene stealer and mesmerized on stay the night. We have a left monofilament part plus a hand tied top. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like on my head in a minute, of course, but 
The cool thing about this one is that with the left monofilament part, of course, you're going to have the ability to part it on your left side. But because the top is not wefting and because it's all hand tied, that still technically gives you parting space as well. And technically you still could part it on the right if you wanted to. Let me show you. All right, I will put this on and oh. adjust it. Okay, so out of all three of these caps, um, as I mentioned before, I am a petite size. This cap fits me the best. It feels the most snug. It's not tight at all. It's not like too snug or anything. It fits very true to average, but this one is going to feel more form fitting to more people. Even though I am petite, I could still wear this and feel totally okay. I have not adjusted the adjusting straps at all and it still feels pretty secure. And that is also thanks to the silicone ear tabs and the silicone nape. Let me show you that left part here. So here's the left monofilament part. Now, I mentioned how because it's hand tied on top, you could still change the part. It's gonna look a little bit different, but still not too bad. So you could definitely play around with parting space on here. I would probably, if I owned this wig, I would probably neglect the fact that it is a left part because it just, you can part it anywhere, really. Okay, so Stay the Night is going to be the longest out of them all, and it's going to have the least amount of layers, and it's also not going to have the shorter pieces in the front. So remember, Scene Stealer and Mesmerized had um, both nine and a half inches and eight inches respectively in the front there. This one, you'll notice there's no face framing anything. It's all just like long, it's just all long. It's not all the same length, but it's just all long. So you'll find it's a little bit shorter in the front than the, oh, I got to back up. It's so long, <laughs> but there's no face framing things. That's not to say that you couldn't cut some in. You can definitely cut these wigs and make it your own, but this is how she comes. Okay, now in terms of price, Stay the Night is going to be in between Mesmerized and Scene Stealer. So this is gonna be your middle priced one. Okay, so the length on these, we have 16 and a half inches at the front, so it's super long. We are going to have 19 inches from the back and then we're going to have 16 and a half inches from your nape so if you remember on mesmerized and seed stealer those ones were 15 inches from the nape this one's 16 and a half so this one's going to be about an inch and a half longer let me show you So if you are looking for that ultimate long, long hair, Stay the Night would probably be the one because it's just overall long <laughs> everywhere. You'll also notice that with Stay the Night, because it has less layering in it to give it more like a fluffy feel, um, it's going to be flatter on top. So it's going to look like it has less density. However, when that, that being said, I feel like all of these wigs tend to have around the same density. This one feels maybe a little bit more density, but that's because, as I mentioned, it has a lack of layering. The layers don't start until like way down here. Whereas with Scene Stealer and Mesmerized, you have layering that starts a little bit earlier on, which gives it a lighter feel at the bottom and throughout sort of the body of the wig. So overall, you're gonna find Stay the Night to feel like it has the most hair, I would say. And that's because of the fact that it's longer, less layers, and it feels just a little bit more dense. You can even, I don't know, see that the ponytail I'm holding, it's quite a bit thicker. But all that being said, you're going to find that on top, it's going to look probably the, less, the least voluminous out of the three of them. It's going to be a little bit more flat and sleek on the top, as opposed to Scene Stealer, which had the permatease in it, and Mesmerize, which had more of the volume built into the style and the layering. Okay, let me show you this lace front here. It's extended on Stay the Night. So same as Mesmerized. Oh, they're just all 
really beautiful pieces. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm wearing this in the color Shaded Sand. So Shaded Sand is a really wonderful sandy blonde color with a little bit of lighter platinum running throughout and it has light brown roots. So I love the rooting on this one because it's not so stark and dark. There's not a huge contrast. It's just a really subtle root that smudges really nicely into the rest of the color. Okay, I am dying to know which one is your favorite. Do you like Stay the Night? That's on my head. Do you like Mesmerized? Or do you like Scene Stealer? If I were to choose just one, oh my lord, I feel like you can't go wrong, but I think I think I would, ooh, I love the cap of Stay the Night. It's probably my favorite cap. I love, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, if you held me down and told me to choose, I, I still wouldn't be able to choose. I would just be there being like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, if any of these are pieces that you're interested in, then make sure you take a look on our website at chiquelle.com or chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I know this one was a little bit longer than they usually are, but hopefully it gave you a good idea of the differences between these three amazing wigs. All right, thanks for watching you guys. See you next time.